Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will talk about how to rewrite an equation of circle from its standard form to its corresponding general form. By the way, guys, this is our third video with regards to the circle under the conic sections. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So I have here the two different forms of the equation of the circle. The first one is the standard form in which we have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. And this is the general form of the equation of the circle. We have x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. So all of the equations here, like this one, we write the equations in general form. All of the equations here are in standard form. So our target right now is transform these equations, this standard form, to its corresponding general form. Now let's start with item number one. In number one, we are, we are given the equation x plus 2 raised to the second power plus y minus 3 to the second power is equal to 64. So how are we going to transform this one into general form? Basically, guys, all you need to do is to expand these two uh, square root binomials and then simplify it. So let's start with x plus 2 raised to the second power. Pwede tayong gamit ng shortcuts, pero ipapakita ko rin sa inyo para siya manually gamitan ng FOIL method. So let's start with this one. The equivalent trinomial of x plus 2 squared is simply x squared plus 4x plus 4. So ang tanong dito, sir, paano yung nakuha yung x squared plus 4x plus 4? Using the shortcut, ginamit yung form na a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So ang ginawa ko dito guys is that I square the first term which is when you square x that is x squared. And then as for the second term, I will multiply the first and second term x times 2 as given in this form. x times 2 is 2x and then I will multiply it by 2. It is the same as a times b. So I have x times 2 is 2x, and then times 2, that will give you 4x. And for plus 4, for the third term, I raised uh, 2 by 2 now. So we have 2 raised to 2, that is equivalent to 4. Pero kung manual yung gagamitan yung guys lang ano, ng point method in an expansion, that is the same as x plus 2 times x plus 2. Wherein you can use point method, wherein you will multiply x by x, you have x squared, then x times 2, that is plus 2x, then 2 times x, that will give you plus 2x, and then 2 times 2, that is 4. So simplifying this, combining these terms, it will give you 4, x squared plus 4x plus 4. As you can see, they are the same. Okay? So ngayon, for the sake of our tutorial, I'll be using the shortcut method para uh, mas maging mabilis yung ating solution. Now, as for the y minus 3, if I am going to expand this one, so I would have y raised to the second power is plus y squared. And then, I will multiply this to y times negative 3, that is negative 3y, times 2, that will give you minus 6x, 6y. And then, this is 3 raised to the second power, or negative 3 raised to the second power, that will give you positive 9 is equal to 64. Okay, now, as you can see guys, you have the general form, all the terms are um, isolated or placed on the left side of the equation. So what we will do is we will regroup this, pero pagsasamayin muna natin ay mga constants. And then we will transpose 64 to the other side of the equation. So what will I do is I will have x squared plus 4x here, and then I will copy plus y squared, then minus 6y, and then 64. Ito na tayo, 4 
plus 9 minus 64. We transpose positive 64 to the other side and it will become negative. So equal to 0. And then when we simplify this, this is equivalent to negative 51. Tama? Okay, this is negative 51 is equal to 0. But as for the position of these terms, let us identify that in 4 plus 9 plus negative uh, minus 64, that is negative 61. And as you can see, guys, kapag naging general form siya, ang formation niya is we will start with x squared. We have x squared. And then followed by the y squared. And then followed by the linear term of x, we have plus 4x minus 6y, and this is negative 51, is equal to 0. This is now the general form of the given equation x plus 2 squared plus y minus t squared is equal to 64. I hope that I'm you first example natin. Now, for example number 2, we have x plus 1 to the second power plus y minus 2 to the second power is equal to 49. You can pause the video and you can do it on your, on your own. Pause the video first. So you can try what we have done from item number 1. Okay, let's continue. So you can check your answer after doing this one. So expanding x plus 1, that will give you x squared plus 2x plus 1. So what is it? Is square the first term x squared, and then multiply x times 1, that is x times 2, that will give you 2x. And then 1 squared is 1. Now for this part, plus y squared minus 4y plus 4 is equal to 49. Paano ito? Uh, we square y, that is y squared, and then for the second term, y times negative 2 is negative 2y, times 2, that is negative 4y, and then negative 2 squared is 4. So what we will do here is to um, arrange na ito, diretso na natin. We will start with this one, we have x squared plus y squared x squared plus y squared and then we will follow with the linear term of x which is plus 2x for the y variable minus 4y and then let's arrange the constants 1 plus 4 1 plus 4 and then transpose 49 to the other side that is minus 49 is equal to 0 now um, copy this one x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 4y and simplifying this 1 plus 4 is 5 minus 49 that is negative 44 is equal to 0 this is now the general form of the second given equation of the circle so I hope guys that you learned something from this video on how to transform a given equation of circle from its standard form to its equivalent general form. And kung gusto mong mapanood yung video natin on how to rewrite an equation of circle from general form to standard form, ilalagay ko yung ating link sa ating description box. So again, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at ihit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gorn. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!